Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Gobloud. So Gobloud is a game for 2 to 5 players ages 8 and up and it plays for around 20 to 30 minutes. In this game you play as a goblin clan leader and the king has died and the throne is vacant. So you try to take his place and you're going to do that by either playing 5 prestige cards giving you 1 point each for a total of 5 points or you can eliminate your opponents by knocking their teeth out. If a player has no more teeth, they are out of the game. If you are the lone player, you are declared the winner and the king of the goblins. You're going to do that through an army of goblins, which are cards that you can play thanks to your augury dice. The game is played uh, from a player turn to another until one of the endgame conditions is met. So on your turn, what are you going to do? The first thing that you're going to do is uh, discard and draw cards. So you may discard cards that you don't particularly like and draw to hand size, which is five cards, and then you move on to the next step. The second phase of my turn is the die uh, phase. I'm going to roll that die and the die has different sides with different symbols and colors, which are the cards that I may play. So I will roll the die and if I do not like the symbols and colors of the card, I may pay one, um, one tooth to put it on the side of my choice, meaning I can play either red cards or white cards. I have a lot of red cards, so that's good for me. I'll play one warrior, I will deploy it, and then I may move on to my attack step. I can attack either player if I have a big army, I can attack more than one player, um, but I have to target the people with warriors. So in this case, I will attack that player, and that player will move to the defense step. First, they will draw a card, then they will roll a die, and if they have the blue side, they will be able to play reaction cards, so cannon fodder um, cards, which are defenders. In this case, they don't have any, so they will lose one tooth. And that's it for my attack. My attacker goes back home, and my turn has ended. That player will again take their turn and maybe roll the die uh, and they will play a purple card, a brute. So the brute is kind of like a warrior but they deal 2 damage if unblocked. So out of spite they will attack me with a brute. I will roll my die if I get a blue. I will be able to play a blue card, a, a cannon fodder card to block that brute. So I won't take any damage from that. And the blocker and uh, the blocked creature are both going to be put into the discard pile. After the attack phase, we move on to the next player and so on and so forth. So we have special cards in the game. So we have like dual cards, this super goblin, maybe an attacker or a defender. We also have the white cards. We may play only one uh, white card each turn. And this is if we get the white. These are the prestige cards, they give you special abilities sometimes, but they most of all give you one prestige point. And the prestige points are going to help you win the game. If you have five of them, you simply win the game. Additionally, you have uh, these brown cards, which have uh, context and abilities. You may play them at any time to perform what's written on them. For example, this one destroys all the warriors of one player which allows you to uh, kind of defend yourself in another way. You're going to play like so until one of the two uh, victory conditions is met. Either a player has five uh, prestige cards, they win, or if all players but one are eliminated because they have no more teeth and the remaining player wins. So that's it, you know everything about Goblout. So this is a very interactive take that game in which you're going to punch out your opponents, create your army, but also build up your defenses and hopefully get to be the new Goblin King. Bye-bye, see you on the Devils of Tefar.